What's up everybody? I've got a little review for you today. It's on this bad boy right here, the Texo 2750 Pro cylinder arm sewing machine. Some of you know that we just recently had a baby just days ago and so I've been completely disconnected and been spending all my time just in the house hanging out with the family and watching our kids. So this is my first day back in the shop and I've been dying to just sit down and play with this and uh, actually build something with it. But before I do, I just wanna give you my first impressions, uh, my decision on going with Texo and, and this machine specifically. Um, there's a lot of factors that went into it, but uh, let's get to it. So a couple years ago, I was so caught up making wallets that I really wasn't putting much use on any of my cylinder arm machines. I ended up selling my CB3200 for a Bell Skyver, which was a good move. And then uh, right before we moved the shop, I ended up selling my 341 as well, just because it was gathering dust and I had never used it. I've, I've always regretted that. It's really useful to have a cylinder arm around the shop. If all you're making is wallets and small accessories, then a flatbed machine will definitely be more comfortable, more convenient, but it really depends on the project. So this is one of those cases where it's nice to have a few different machines in the shop. Anyway, bottom line, a lot of you know that I've been in the market for a cylinder arm machine for quite a while. Ever since I sold my Cowboys, I've been really hoping to get another cylinder arm in the shop again. So while I was shopping around, I was referred to a company called Texo by a good buddy of mine, Ryan Savin from Little King Goods. You may have heard of him. And you guys know how it is. It's always nice to have a referral from someone that you trust. So I reached out to Texo and I haven't looked back since. I've just heard so many good things about their machines, about their customer service, and so here we are. So I was really hoping to find a machine that fit within the class of my CB341 that I had previously. It was a great machine for making bags. I wanted something that I could use size 92 thread, something that had the capability of sewing up to about a half inch worth of material. What I really wanted was something that would give me the ability to be more creative in bag design. Having that cylinder arm is priceless when you're trying to work around tough angles, especially when you're trying to work around corners on gussets. I've sort of gotten by on a flatbed, but it really makes life harder when you're trying to sew bags on a flatbed machine. You guys already know my criteria for a leather machine. I really wanted a nice servo motor, um, something with the uh, built-in reducer to slow it way down, something that doesn't mark up the leather too much. And I really wanted to get a machine from somebody that could provide good customer service. Uh, that's really important to me. So honestly, there are a lot of great machines that fit into this category that you could go with. Um, like I said, I previously had a Cowboy CB341, which is basically this machine, only this machine has a few extra features. The Cobra Class 26, I believe. Uh, the Juki 341. You can always go for the much bigger, heavier duty harness stitchers where you're able to get like an inch worth of material under the presser foot. If that's what you need, uh, definitely go with that. I think Texo's model is the 5100, which is the one Ryan uses. Awesome machine. But as I was talking to Ron at Texo about which machine I should get, he felt that the 5100 would probably be overkill for what I need. And I agree because I loved my 341. That's basically what I wanted to replace. So here we are. But let me just show you a few features on this machine that I really felt helped it stand out in my mind. Let me first go over all of the standard specs on this machine because I know I'm going to get some email questions about these things. So I want to cover them right off the bat. Okay, this is a given, but this machine uses a compound feed or triple feed walking foot mechanism to feed the leather through, which basically means that there are two separate presser feet that walk the leather through in synchronization with the feed dog underneath. So there's basically three points that all synchronize to move the leather through. You can't see the bottom one, but it's happening. This presser foot has about five eighths of an inch of clearance. Uh, which means you can sew up to about three-eighths of an inch. So you're just right around that half inch mark. It also has this really cool feature, which is new to me, but I believe they call it the TLG laser guide. So you can flip the switch and it'll beam a laser down onto your leather and give you a good um, reference for sewing straight. I love that it came with this swing down roller guide. I kind of got used to not using these for a while, but since this one had it on, I've been using it and I actually really love it. So the fact that it's adjustable and really easy to pop out of the way, it's just kind of a no brainer. 
This machine actually came with a uh, flatbed table attachment, so you can basically convert this machine to be a flatbed if you need to. I'm not going to throw it on because it takes a little bit of time to set it up, but um, definitely nice to know about. It takes a size 18 needle all the way up to size 24. I've got it set up with a number 18 right now paired with number 92 thread, which by the way, it'll take anywhere from number 45 all the way up to number 210 thread. But I almost always use number 92, so I just keep it all set up for that. And of course, Texo provides a limited lifetime warranty and uh, a lifetime of free technical support. So let me explain what that is. Uh, most of you know that on an industrial sewing machine, the position of the needle is really important in relation to the timing of the hook. Um, for instance, if you're gonna make a sharp turn in your stitch and you haven't timed it properly, then it may skip the stitch. So you always want to end your stitch in the right needle position and then make your turn and then continue stitching and as long as you position the needle right, you won't have skipped that stitch. But most of the time, what you need to do is manually position the needle at the end of your stitch and um, it can get time consuming. The reason I like this position system on this servo motor is that it will automatically end your stitch in the right position. So let me just give you an example. Stitching along, let go of the foot, and it'll keep going until it's in the right position to be able to make a turn. Now let's say you're not gonna make a turn and you're actually just gonna pull the leather out. This is the second function of the needle position system that I think is really handy, and that's that you can push the backside of your treadle and it'll engage that little white button on the motor. So I'm going to push that and watch what it does to the needle. Brings it all the way up to the top and uh, that frees up the thread so that you can pull your leather out and not have any hangups. So I think that was one of the features that I was most excited about on this machine. But to be honest, it took me a little while to get used to. I had to kind of adjust the way I think about sewing, but, but after doing a few runs, um, I really learned to love it and I can definitely see it helping efficiency and speed in projects. The good news is if you don't think it's going to be useful for you, then you can disable it on the servo motor and, and uh, not even have to worry about it. So I'm just going to step back over and do a few runs and just show you how it stitches. Um, again, I haven't put too much time in this machine. There's still going to be some tweaking. I'm going to have to do some things to get the tension right and everything, but I'm just really excited to put some time in on this thing. So let's play around a little bit.
right, things are starting to feel pretty good on this thing. The back stitches are lining up really nicely. Uh, if you look at all of the 90 degree corners or sharper, we're not skipping any stitches. And that's just done super effortlessly thanks to the needle positioning. Well, the tension looks pretty good. It's been fun. I think I'm ready to start tearing up a real project. Okay, I wish I didn't have to do this, but I just wanna get a couple things out on the table and just kind of, uh, you know, level this out. I just wanted to make it really clear. Anytime I do any kind of partnership on this channel, I think a lot of people assume that I'm letting the partnerships determine what I like and what I don't like and what I push, you know, to my audience and what I don't. Um, but that's very misconstrued. In fact, it's the exact opposite. For with, with this machine specifically, this is a good example. I really did my homework ahead of time. I looked into just about every uh, machine out there within this class that would accomplish what I needed it to and met the you know quality requirements and my standards of, of something that I would want to use and, and then also recommend. And then once I felt good about my level of research and the shopping I had done, um, I decided to reach out to Texo and uh, wanted to see if there was something we could do in a partnership that would help each other out. That's what this kind of work is all about. So the idea that companies are just throwing products at me and saying, hey, sell this and we'll pay you a pretty penny. And then uh, I have to sit here and lie about it. That's, that's completely inaccurate. Very much the same deal with Tandy. I always make very concerted decisions on uh, who I want to work with and who I don't. And more importantly, who I can partner with that's going to be of value to you. And everyone here in this channel um, is, is on different levels of expertise with the craft. And so uh, it's really important for me to be very careful with who we work with and how we can be helpful to you. And so with all that being said, as far as first impressions go, I am really happy with this machine. Yes, this is an affiliate partnership. Texo did provide me with a coupon code for you to use. And if you enter into this coupon code as you check out from their website, they said that they will throw in some free accessories with the machine when they send it out. And we'll get a little kickback, which just means so much to us. And we'll be able to keep all this going. Even though I know some of you in the comments have mentioned that you don't like the idea that we do these affiliate partnerships, um, you have to know that it's the very thing that allows us to keep making videos at no cost to you and, and allow us to still put food on the table for our family. So um, these partnerships mean a lot to me. I'm very particular with who we work with and I try and be extra careful in uh, all of our dealings and, and any kind of partnership we arrange. You have to know that my main goal here is just to be able to help you out. I mean, I of course need to make a living, be able to put food on the table for my family, but one of the reasons that I've become so fond of Texo is the, the company has a total uh, small time, family run kind of vibe. Ron over there, who if you call in and ask about machines, you're gonna be talking to Ron, and he is so helpful. He'll answer any question you have about what kind of machine you need. There's no reason to, to wonder and, and have all these questions about what kind of machine you might need and. Um, how to use it because they've got free technical support for the lifetime of the machine and uh, you can pretty much just call in and and they'll just totally take care of you. It, it has a really personable, friendly uh, vibe over there. I've, I've just loved getting to know those guys. So that's a big deal for me. But the whole purpose of the YouTube side of this business is is to be able to just tap into this community that I love and be able to provide some value and help out if I can. And I really hope you guys feel that. <laughs> I'm bringing you stuff that I love. And I can tell you right now that I, I really love this machine. It is a first impression. Uh, I definitely wanna work with it for a few months and probably do a follow-up video and let you know my uh, feelings after a few months of using it. But even though these machines seem pretty complicated, they're actually really simple. And it's pretty easy to tell right off the bat if something's gonna be a good tool uh, or not. And uh, so far, I've just had nothing but a great experience and great feelings about this machine. So I literally can't wait to just start tearing into some more bag designs and making that a much bigger part of our portfolio. Bags have always been what I'm really passionate about making, but um, the wallets <laughs> just kind of snuck in and, and became a big part of our business and I had to kind of roll with it for a while. But I'm really excited to just start turning out some uh, beautiful bag designs. All right. The Texo 2750 Pro. When you check out, use the coupon code STKBRL. You see what see what we did there? It's stock and barrel. <laughs> 
And again, if you see that, um, Ron told me that he's going to personally throw in some free accessories with your machine and, uh, and it would just mean so much to us. So thank you guys for watching this. I apologize. We'll get right back into the flow of doing full project videos here pretty soon. Uh, we just got to get a little bit more settled in with the, with the whole baby situation. <laughs> We're a family of five now. We have three kids. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it's an incredible experience. We're loving it, but uh, just trying to figure it all out. So thank you guys for watching. Your support means so much to us. Don't forget to, you know, the stuff, all the things that I'm about to say. Subscribe, leave some comments, hit that thumbs up. Um, that's the kind of stuff that makes this thing work. All right, it's getting late. I love you and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.